Benjamin Moore paint colors, white specifically, is what we're going to be talking about today. And the reason for that is I think that whites are slowly taking over the grays. I'm seeing more requests for whites and having really bright spaces. And this may be because it really is the completely neutral backdrop. So we're going to be looking at Snowfall White, Simply White, and White Dove. So let's do this. So here I've lined up all the three different paint colors. So we have Snowfall White, we have Simply White, and we also have White Dove. Now the Snowfall White is more of a white white, and I don't actually use it very often, but I did use it in a bathroom that I wanna show you shortly. Um, but then if you look at the Simply White, we've got a little bit more creamy to it, a little more of an off-white. And then we have undoubtedly one of the most popular colors as well, which is White Dove. And this has got a little more just a little more creaminess than the Simply White. It's not a stark white at all, and you can tell that specifically when you compare that. Put it right in the middle of those three. And if you can see that, I hope you can, I will snap a picture after, but this really is more white. This is kind of the, the darkest white, and the Simply White is in between, which is why I lined them up the way that I did. So when you're choosing a white, the most important thing to notice is how it's going to go with your other tones that you have in the space. So if you have tones that are really bright, you're not going to want to be going with something maybe that's so creamy. Now if you know me by now, you know one thing I say is do not pick your paint color first. So it's really important because there's so many paint colors out there that we don't want to be tied into that one color. So when I started to do a bathroom design for my Toronto clients, we started off with this tile that they absolutely loved. And from the tile, that is where we got the paint color, Snowfall White. So I pretty much wanted to match it up. This was the closest white that I found to match to the tile. We used this tile in the shower, and then we also did the cabinetry in the Snowfall White, the walls, the ceiling, but of course the ceiling was done in a different sheen, and the baseboards as well. So the only thing in the space that really has any sort of color is the hardwood looking tile that we use. And that really grounds the space, creates a nice contrast, and gives a beautiful warmth. Simply White really does go with a lot of different colors and it can be great for trim, ceiling colors, and crown, and cabinetry as well. Simply White goes beautiful with grays. And you can see here, I put it up next to Gray Owl. And this just looks really nice together. It's soft, but still, it's still white enough to go up against the gray. I'm gonna show you a fabulous space here done by my good friend and fellow designer, Jill McDonald of Jill Sonia Interiors. The Simply White works really well here, as you can see. It matches beautifully with the chair covers that Jill used for the dining table. And just look at the contrast that it creates with those black lanterns above. It's just stunning. And she did use it in the kitchen here. This is in the same house. And this is the kitchen and where they use the gray owl for the cabinetry and simply white for the walls and the trim and the ceiling. It's just beautiful. Well done, Jill. I love it. Now I'm going to show you how this works with this color here, which is Kendall Charcoal by Benjamin Moore. I mean, obviously the contrast is beautiful. The richness of both colors just totally complement one another. And I have a good friend of mine, Christy, who you may know better as the Decorologist, who used this palette in a space. You can see it here. She painted the ceiling in Kendall charcoal, and it's just so beautiful. I love when people paint ceilings. I find it's the fifth wall that can often be ignored, and you can see here why it just shouldn't be. This room is classic, and these colors just work beautifully within the space. So I know choosing whites can be confusing, get really frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. They are all different, so just make sure that you're looking at them on big color boards where you can and compare, compare, compare. I hope that was helpful and I would love to see you subscribe to my channel. Click on the link below and I will see you next time. And again, it's just come forward. <clears throat> So without any further ado, let's do this. Benjamin Moore 